Welcome back folks to the Guild 3. This is episode 2 and we are back with Rickard McFister. The McFister family that rules with an iron fist. Well currently we are ruling over this fishmonger place. So yeah. Okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work on a little bit of our reputation. So let's go ahead and now. select him. Work on our dynasty stuff. Well, first of all, let's actually get the drive your workers. So we got a 70% chance of giving them a buff. So let's go ahead and just kind of give them a little extra there. Hey, it was a success. They are now buffed. So they're going to get a extra to their productivity, uh, basic value, building bonus, plus 15%. So that's pretty strong. So they went from uh, like 97 to 112, 111%. That's, uh, that's really, really good. Uh, I don't think the wife gets that bonus. Oh, she is buffed. Oh, she gets the just married buff. And she's also pregnant for the next 10 and a half minutes. Okay. You can kick the party member, you can dismiss employee, pause, all that good stuff. Alright, so, uh, the early game is a little bit slow for us just because of the amount of money that we have coming in is not exactly the greatest, but it will, um, it will come in a lot sooner. Oh, also, you have a thing right here called join a monastery it costs you 50 influence and if you do it essentially removes you from the game so you better have like an error uh because if you do this and you don't have an error it's game over so it's kind of like an almost like an auto quit kind of thing uh greet someone laugh at someone boast about our achievements so let's go ahead and boast about our achievements uh we'll just do it right here right in front yes sir so he's literally just going to sit there and just tell the world how great he is and all the things that he's done uh, and just be pretty much an obnoxious turd about it. And hopefully, if it all goes well, if we have a success, you'll we'll actually get a little bit of influence. Yeah, we did. We got success. We got plus five. So, like I said, it was not a very, it's not a lot, uh, but you definitely want to do it like around a lot of people where people can actually hear you. So you have different faiths. You have the Catholics, you have the, uh, Christ, uh, secular, the secular religious, and then I think you have the Protestants on the other side. So you can, you know, pick and choose which one you want. I'm not 100% sure what yes, sir. they really... Certainly. I'm hurrying. What it does for you. Because I'm not really into the whole religious thing on here, so it's kind of it's kind of a moot point for me. Certainly. Alright. So I'm going to go back to the market real quick. Now that we have a wife, we don't have to worry about these, so we can just get rid of this. And this. So we got all sorts of stuff here. We can get raw materials, food and beverages, weapons and armor. Uh, this actually is not a bad idea just to get something small, like a little dagger. And this will just help us with defense, damage, attack power. So if we do have a robber that comes up on us, we can kind of defend ourselves a little bit until we can get like an actual sword or a mace. Clothing. I think we are we are wearing robust clothing and it doesn't give us any it doesn't give us anything I mean hell even peasant clothes uh, give us t plus 10 armor 3 resistance and 2 reputation commoners clothes gives us 2 stealth uh, but I think what we're going to try to go for is going to be citizens clothes and then there's also wool cloak and stuff like that Trinkets are like little things that you can put in these bottom chalice areas 
uh, like a dark talisman, spinning tops. Like this one will give you a plus 2% ability to learn. Your lucky stone, this is pretty good. It gives you plus one to your charisma, plus one to your perception, uh, plus five bonus to bargaining, reputation bonus, and luck. So that's pretty pretty neat. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of different things. Like you get like bandages and her bandages. You can get bone talismans. Uh, I believe there's like a bone ring that you can get, which you can also make if you are a grave digger. Then you have luxury items. Now just having these go into like your little neck area. And some of these things are pretty expensive. Uh, also some of these things are used for in other ingredients. So like, you know, you can get a gold chain and it's gonna give you plus 5% to your reputation bonus. You can wear that, but I mean that's like 479 gold. Uh, you can also make these things. Everything that you see here, you can essentially make, which is kind of cool. Uh, so tinctures are like uh, potions and things that you can, if you get sick, like leprosy or things like that. Intermediates are items that you need to make a final item, right? So, for instance, you have a iron ore that turns into a crude weapon hilt. And then you take this with another iron ore and it makes it into a dagger. So you can just straight up buy this, rock candy, things like this. this is, these are all the middle line uh, ingredients. Transports. We have the handcart, which is slow. Gives you plus two storage slots, minus 10% speed. A riding horse. It's like plus 43% speed. It's great. Horse strong cart. It's only 5%, but it gives you an extra two. And the carrying bag only gives you one extra slot. So uh, I think I have it currently where transporters automatically uh, will auto equip yes. themselves. So they will actually go to the market and buy yes, the best uh, type of transport that they can afford slash what they can use. So let's yes. go ahead and get these fish sold off. Certainly. I want to try to get at least a grand, at least a thousand gold. Yes. Which might take a Will little do. bit. Uh, let's go ahead and take these as well. Yes. Good. And we may need to actually upgrade. So, like, another worker. So if we do this, we still got to pay, like, an extra 150 just to hire. There we go. Ah, oh, we're getting somewhere. Anything wrong? Will do. Yeah, like I said, the, the first couple years, especially when you have just one business, are rather kind of slow. But then it ramps up quite a bit. So let's get rid of this. Not get rid of, as in selling, or we just sell that stuff. I'm so hurrying. our wife just sold off some stuff, and we got 800. We're actually gonna need about. Good. Uh, I think we're gonna yes. need probably like 2,200. I want to say uh, Good. coins. So yeah, if we come over here and we buy either. <clears throat> agricultural, the orchardist, or the miller. So it's definitely better to go with the agricultural first. If you're going to go this route, you want to go with the agricultural first and then the miller because otherwise you've got to be buying constant uh, wheat and flour uh, to, to make the actual barley flour and wheat flour. You have to buy the actual wheat but you produce all of that here so just kind of by logic you want to go with this first then this and i think the this one is just a secondary uh by itself and of course this will lead into hospitality so it's kind of like a pub kind of thing and then fish will lead into the butcher which is also ties into the agricultural uh tier two you get cattle and pigs 
you you kind of want to get everything because you're going to end up taking transports between you know taking stuff from here to here from here to here and you actually even need to go into scholarship to get the herbalism uh tier two the reason why is you see that rock lily and the swamp root you need swamp root in order to feed to the farm tier two for the pigs and the pigs once they're butchered give you fat and the fat will actually give you for the bakery to make all the different stuff so it's all like it all meshes together and if you don't really know how it all goes together it's really really easy to get yourself lost and yeah yep certainly. So let's go ahead and get in here what we got we got trout fried trout we got two transports. You know what? Let's actually let's get ourselves another worker. Uh, you know what? Let's do ourselves. So first of all, uh, fire ourselves from our house. That's the only way you can you can sever yourself from your house. Like I'm no longer I live there, but I'm no longer working at my house. So now I can join. No pain, no gain. This. Let me know your plans for securing the now I don't worry about paying myself because obviously the, whatever money I'm making is going to go into my pocket. So uh, let's go ahead and give ourselves some extra time here so we can get some stuff going. And hopefully with me going here like this, we should make back the money here pretty quickly. Uh, so we can do customer satisfaction as well. So the people who buy stuff from our store will be a little bit happier. Oh, look at uh, our son is born. I'm going to name this son. Hmm. Talon. It's a good strong name right there. Talon Fister. <laughs> okay. Um, and actually, I'm also going to Dynasty produce offspring. Let's go for it again. Going for round two. Like I said, the more kids you have, the better chance of them surviving and growing up. There we go. You're expecting. Awesome. Okay, you get back to work too. So I'm going to go into the transporter here real quick. So adhere to storage rules. So when we go into storage here, okay, we have the trade route. So this is what the basic one is, right? This is minimum storage. So this side is minimum storage. So autumn of 1402. Uh, auto save. Okay, so minimum storage, sell. Automated transporters will sell items above this setting when they are when they are not in use for production. Procure. Automated transporters will buy as many items needed to reach the amount defined what in this setting in when needed for production. Well. So this is actually really really important. So. Um, we want to keep this at zero. Because anything that we sell is going to sell from there. Perch. Two o'clock in the morning and all is well. Uh, trout. Okay, this is fine. We're, we're actually okay on this setting right here. Uh, so this is the minimum. The, the max storage. So sell automated transports will sell items above this setting to the, the market, even well. if they are Let used as intermediates for production or of other items. 
procure automated transports will not buy more items than defined in this setting. Okay, so currently we have it at infinity, but what we want to have it at is max storage only 10. We'll only sell 10. Anything over that uh, automatically sells. We'll automatically get sold. Uh, actually, hold on a second. Oh, no, no, no. We want it above zero. Okay, so sell. If you uncheck <coughs> this option, transporters will never sell this item. So if we uncheck it, it's just going to constantly stock it, right? And then procure. So automatic transporters will try and procure items for this business when required for production and will keep the stock level of these items to at least minimum storage amount. Furthermore, automated workers will not produce this item as they expect the transporters to procure it. Okay, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. They're not going to... Uh, they're not going to get stuff, but it also... The workers are not going to make it because they think that it's just going to constantly be coming in. Alright, so we don't want any more than 40. Same with this one. Anything that goes over 40 is all not going to get sold. So these are okay, and these... Yeah, I don't want to keep any of these whatsoever. Cool. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so we got stuff getting sold. She's going to come back and she's going to pick up that stuff. Perfect. Perfect. Look at We're already at 13, 1300. Great. So there's guilds that you can actually uh, join and all that stuff. I haven't joined any guilds yet. Uh, in my playthroughs, just because I haven't really gotten to that point, but we will. Okay, so let's do... Um... Someone has turned the citizens Amazing. against you. Dynasty. Uh, actually, let me see. How much? Okay, I need to be a higher level before I'm able to bribe people. Alright. Uh, I'm going to say let's do the farm. Yeah, we're going to do the farm. So I need, I believe, it's 12... Oh, 1,500. And the interesting thing about this one is because there's the croft, the farm, and the estate farm, once we put this down... Uh, we can actually upgrade the farm and it's going to cost us 3,000 gold because, I mean, if we were just to put the farm down, it's going to cost us 4,500, but it's already taking into the account that we've already paid 1,500 gold for it. So we only need to pay 3,000 to upgrade. And then from here, uh, this is 10,000. So it's only going to be, what, uh, 5,500. To upgrade it if, if my math is correct so here we go we got da, 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 da. so yeah like I said this is really good because this is it's, it's all pure um, there's no uh, what do you call it there's no input you know what I'm saying like we don't need to go to the mark the market to buy things for us to make it, right? So even level two, which is where that usually happens, all of these are all made in the house, which is, that's that's great. So in actuality, what does it take? I need to be level two fisherman. I need to be a human. Okay, so that's the next level. Okay, that's fine. Uh, 
And how is the wifey doing with the pregnancy? I'm ready. She's pregnant for, oh, less than 25 seconds. Cool. So we'll be seeing a little one here momentarily. Okay, we have a little girl. We're going to name her Jamie. All right. So we got Talon and we got Jamie. Jamie McFister and we got Talon McFister. Okay. So we can actually look inside here real quick and we can see how old our kids are. So Talon is currently... Oh, uh, Jamie's just born. And he is only... Yeah, he's born as well. Okay, so they're, they're not even a year old yet. Uh, we have a upgrade. So we're going to upgrade her... Her strength. She needs to be a little bit stronger. That will actually help her with moving the car quicker. Uh, normally, too, you would actually upgrade uh, your workers as well. But I have it set to auto upgrade the workers. Otherwise, it's like every 30 seconds you're sitting there trying to figure out which stat to upgrade. And this one will automatically like upgrade it for you. Okay, cool. We have enough for the farm. And we are going to call this... dreams there we go and as you can see this thing is it's pretty big it's a it's a pretty big area so we are gonna put we want to still kind of be near uh, market area we're gonna put it right there I think that's pretty good so we're literally like surrounding this poor market where our house is here we have a business right here and we have our farm right here okay, so let's go ahead and get this going Also, you don't want to ever run out of money. I know that's kind of a common sense thing. But if you run out of money, and you will get a little icon. Like right here by your your uh, notification area. And I'll say bankrupt. And if you go until mid, like almost midnight, I think of the following day without getting any money, the game, done, you're done. Okay, so Field of Dreams. So in this, we have barley, which we can make, uh, wheat, and bucket of water, right? And this is from a well. So we would have to, thankfully our well is right here, so it's just right across the street. So if we were to build it like all the way over here or something like that, they would have to walk all the way over there to get water, and that really bites. And once you get to, I think, Free Citizen, you can actually build your own well, like, right next to it. But the fact that we're right next to it, we're A-OK. -okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and hire a worker. Okay, so he's off-duty at the moment because it is, like, midnight almost. We already start with some water. We have cattle. So this requires buckets of water and wheat. So we can essentially do this in-house. We can take care of this at level two. The pig is the only one that's different, where that requires one swamp root and one bucket of water. So that's where we need to have the herbalist tier two help supplying us. Otherwise, we need to get a transporter to buy swamp root for us. And we may actually do that with just the storage thing uh, here and just have them procure just a little bit of swamp root every so often to keep us at that level. So if we go right here, it's going to show us 10 wheat, 10, 10 barley, and 10 buckets of water. And once we're past midnight, he's just going to start working and uh, we'll take care of that. Actually, I'm going to try to, can't hire anything yet. So let's 
get the time going. It's going to kick over to the next year. 1403. How we're doing. Uh, we're still currently after midnight, so let's check our, our stats real quick. Alright, so our fishing hut expenses so far the past year we spent 4680 That includes building um, and all the upkeep maintenances and things like that. And our revenue is 5063 Field of Dreams, we haven't produced any income yet, so that's why it's um, this is the cost of the farm, so fifteen hundred plus two hundred for the people, for the person. So subtotal, we we're actually losing twelve hundred, uh, but our revenue expenses, revenue expenses. So our total revenue is thirty six hundred ninety three, and our uh, total is fourteen seventy nine. So total, we're getting about three hundred eight. After everything is, after we pay wages and all that stuff, that's how much profit we're making. So we're not making great profit right at the moment. But that's fine because we literally just started the farm and all that stuff. So that's kind of to be expected. Not now, please. All right, let's get you set up with dexterity. Yes. Okay, how are you guys doing over here? All right, first of all, let's get you storage, barley. Uh, we will only store. Mm, you know what? No, we, we need to keep that up. Let me keep that up. Buckets of water, though. We need to keep that at 40. We don't, because otherwise they'll just keep filling it and keep filling it. Okay. So yeah, if they're doing 20, so okay, for each one of these, one barley costs two bucket, two buckets of water, and this is one bucket of water. So, so math, if we're doing, if we need to do 40 of these, that's 80, 80 buckets. And that's 40, so 120. Okay, so it's going to be two things of 60, essentially. So minimum, and then we'll do increase this to... Uh, 120. Okay, and... Ah, dang it. We'll do 120. And... Sell. We don't want them to sell this at all. So they're only going to produce up to 120. That's it. Uh, and what have they produced so far? So we have wheat being produced, but we're going to wait until we sell any of that stuff. Someone has spoken well about you. Hey, nice. I'm hurrying. The Guild of Merchants has something to announce. Okay, so... Our next thing that we need to focus on will be getting Yeoman title. I should we get another worker to help out? Add on. So as you can see, this one actually has a lot more workers. And you need a lot of workers for this place. Okay, so check this out. <clears throat> So this is the city office tree. So down here where we are, we are at this level right here. So we can actually become an informer. So let's go ahead and apply. Oh, I have to be, I think I have to be a yeoman or something like that. 
Uh, and then we can also do laws too. So, so currently plundering graves, that's legal. But breaking bones, that's illegal. But we can change those. If we get high enough that we can enact laws, we can change the laws, which is kind of cool. Okay, so we got plenty of barley going here. We got plenty of wheat going. Uh, so let's hire the transporter. There we go. He's just going to take that stuff to the market. And we're just going to do it that way uh, until we can get to the... Um, What's the, what's the thing I'm looking for here? Until we can get to the mill. Because then we will switch the transporter from doing this, from going straight to the market, to just bringing it straight to the mill so it can get ground into flour. And that will be a much more uh, profitable thing because uh, flour and all that stuff is actually sells for good money. It's like 50 or 60 or something like that. So I'm going to slow down here. And I'm actually going to call it here because I'm at time. But as always, guys, I will catch you guys on the flip side. It's